The International Court of Justice is the principal judicial organ of the United Nations. The seat of the court is at the Peace Palace in The Hague, the Netherlands. Of the six main organs of the United Nations, it is the only one not located in New York. Established in June 1945 by the Charter of the United Nations, the court began work in April 1946. The court's role is to settle, in accordance with international law, legal disputes submitted to it by states, known as contentious proceedings, and to give advisory opinions on legal questions referred to it by authorized United Nations organs and specialized agencies, known as advisory proceedings. The predecessor of the ICJ, the Permanent Court of International Justice, which was established in 1920 and dissolved with the adoption of the United Nations Charter in 1945, also had its seat at the Peace Palace in The Hague. The palace has thus housed the ICJ and the Permanent Court of International Justice for nearly 100 years. This virtual tour will lead you through the rooms of the Peace Palace that are used by the judges of the court in carrying out their judicial functions, including before hearings and sittings. While most of these private rooms are closed to the public, this tour will give you the opportunity to visit them, if only virtually. It is here, in the green room, that the judges put on their gowns, or judicial robes, before the hearings, under the watchful eye of former presidents and judges of the Permanent Court of International Justice. A court's usher welcomes the judges of the court in the green room, and for those who so wish, assists them with robing. After being robed, it is here, in the red room, that the judges meet just before the start of the public sittings to discuss any procedural or last-minute issues before the start of the session. The president, who chairs the meeting, sits at the head of the table. Here are hung portraits offered to the court by former presidents of the ICJ after they left office. You may recognize the portrait of former President Guerrero, who was the PCIJ's last president and the first president of the ICJ, or the portrait of Dame Rosalind Higgins, the first woman judge elected to the court, the court also receives high-level visitors, such as heads of states, in the Red Room. We are now in the Great Hall of Justice, the ICJ courtroom. Like the rest of the palace, this grand room is adorned with gifts donated by states. For example, the four stained-glass windows produced by the Scottish artist Douglas Strachan were a gift from the United Kingdom. In addition, a large painting by the French artist Albert Besnard, entitled Paix par la Justice, Peace through Justice, sits above the doorway through which members of the court enter the Great Hall via the Red Room at the start of oral proceedings. The bench is occupied by the judges participating in a given case. The court is composed of 15 permanent judges elected for a renewable term of nine years by the General Assembly of the United Nations and the Security Council. In order to ensure a measure of continuity, one-third of the court is elected every three years. After its triennial renewal, the court elects by secret ballot a president and a vice-president, who hold office for three years. If a party to a case does not have a judge of its nationality on the bench, it may nominate someone to sit as a judge ad hoc. The composition of the bench may thus vary from one case to another, and the number of judges sitting in a given case will not necessarily be 15. There may be fewer where one or more elected judges do not sit, or as many as 16 or 17 where there are judges ad hoc. The central seat is that of the president of the court, or the presiding judge in a given case. To his or her right sits the vice president, and to his or her left sits the dean of judges, the most senior judge. The seat at the far right of the bench is for the registrar of the court, who is elected by its members by secret ballot for a renewable term of seven years. The registrar directs the work of the registry, and is responsible for all its departments and divisions. 
since the court is both a court of justice and an international organization, the duties of the registrar are both judicial and diplomatic, as well as administrative. The seats to the left of the bench are occupied by the applicant state in a case, which is the country that brings a case against another. The seats to the right of the bench are occupied by the respondent state in a case, or the country against which the case is brought. The seats closest to the president are reserved for the agents of the parties. Often, the agent of a government is its ambassador in The Hague or a senior civil servant. The agent is sometimes assisted by a co-agent, a deputy agent, and he or she always has counsel or advocates to assist in the preparation of the written pleadings and the delivery of oral arguments. Members of the diplomatic corps, invitees of judges and others, sit behind members of the delegations, while a limited number of seats is reserved for members of the public. The booths in the right and left-hand corners of the courtroom are occupied by the interpreters of the court. They ensure that what is said in the courtroom is interpreted into English and French, the two official languages of the court. Thus, whether you are in the courtroom or following the proceedings online in real time, you may do so in either of the two official languages. The Great Hall of Justice was entirely renovated in 2013, on the occasion of the 100th anniversary of the Peace Palace. It now allows the court to discharge the important functions entrusted to it by the United Nations Charter with the latest technologies at its disposal. While public sittings of the court take place in the Great Hall of Justice, the judges also hold meetings, for the most part private, in the Deliberation Room, located in the new wing of the Peace Palace. Once the parties have concluded the presentation of their case, it is here, in the Deliberation Room, that the court holds its deliberations before reaching a decision. Although the rules governing how the court carries out its deliberations are available to the public, the deliberation process itself is held in camera or in private. The deliberations, which take place in multiple phases, last between three and nine months, depending on the complexity of the case in question and the caseload of the court. After the court reaches its decision in a given case, a summary of the decision is read out at a public sitting in the Great Hall of Justice. Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the court has continued to perform its functions, despite worldwide measures to halt the spread of the virus. Through the use of modern technologies, the court has made the necessary arrangements to hold virtual meetings and has adapted its working methods to the need to work remotely. These changes have inevitably altered the traditional ways in which meetings are held and rooms are used, so that the court may continue to discharge its important functions. We hope you have enjoyed this virtual tour, and we look forward to welcoming you to the Peace Palace in person soon. Thank you.